Asal Heri mpenzi mtazamaji. Nakaribisha tena kwenye habari zetu za Pendo TV. Siku ikiwa ni ya Jumatano tarehe 22. Andamana nami moja kwa moja ili niweze kujuza mengi ambayo yameweza kutokea. Jina langu ni Donix Kivara. Gavana wa Kakamega Wycliff Oparanya amesitiza kuundwa kwa kamati maalum itakayo shirikiana na Wizara ya Kilimo na Serikali ya Kaunti ili kutatua mzozo unayokumba uongozi wa kampuni ya Mumias. Akiongea hii leo akiwa mjini Mumias, Oparanya amesema kuwa ukulima wa sukari unategemewa pakubwa nchini. Na ile ili nifanya nije hapa ni wakati tulisikizana na board aswa mwenyekiti wa hii board alikuwa kwa kamati ya task force na tukasikizana hali ya mumias iko tofauti na hali ya nzoia na hali ya soni au chemili kwa sababu hapa serikali iko na 20% national government 80% ni wananchi zile zingine zote ni za serikali 100% na tukasema kwa sababu hii kampuni iko tofauti na zingine tuwe na kamati maalum ambayo itaundwa na cabinet sector wa treasury na planning na washirikiane na county government ya Kakamega na wazi, eh, wizara ya kilimo ya national government hiyo ndio tulizikizana lakini nyuma yake nikaona kwa gazeti ati kila kitu hapa inauzwa wanatumia jina leasing unajua leasing unaona kulisi kitu kwa miaka ya 99 au miaka hamsini kando na hayo ni kwamba wanahabari katika kaunti ya Tranzoia wamekutana hii leo kwenye makavazi ya, ya kitaifa ya kitale kupanda miti hii ni baada ya asilimia kubwa ya, ya msitu kwenye makavazi hayo kuharibiwa na kuharibiwa na kupoteza makao ya wanyama kwa sababu gani tumekuja hapa tunajua kitale kitale museum ni sehemu ambayo ni chemi chemi na tumekuja na hizi miti za kiasili tuweze kupanda hapa ndipo sasa tuweze kukuza mazingira zetu pia tunataka kutumona kuwa kwa wanyama kama mangiz na wale wengine waliweza kutoroka kwa sababu hii sehemu ilikuwa imekatwa ndipo sasa tukaamua kama wanatisho habari tuje hapa alafu hii ni baadhi ya uh, mambo ambayo tumeweza kufanya tukishamaliza hiyo baadaye tutakuja tujumuike na wale wanafunzi ambao wame wamekulwa na jigas tuweze pia kuwahudumia na hii ni baadhi ya ma, mambo ambayo tunafanya kama waandishi wa habari le sisi nasi tumejiunga pamoja na wanahabari ili kuwezesha shughuli hii ya upanzi wa miti ni kwa sababu upande huu wa Tanzania tumeanza kupata mabadiliko ya hali ya anga na kwa sababu hiyo upandaji wa miti utasaidia sana katika kuhakikisha kwamba tunapata mvua ili tupate vyakula vya kesho Mwaka huu tulichelewa kupanda na wale walitangulia kupanda hawakuweza kupata mvua mapema ni kwa sababu ya mabadiliko ya anga. Kwa majina naitwa Chole Kizili, msimamizi wa Kitale Museum. Kwanza nataka kushukuru Kitale Press eh, Welfare kwa kuitikia mwito wa Director General eh, kuungana na eh, ki, wananchi wa Kitale eh, kwa ujumla Transoya kuja kupanda miti miche katika E, 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 sehemu ambayo ilikuwa imeharibiwa na wasiopenda e, mazingira. Kwa hivyo ninataka tu kusema ni asante kubwa sana siku ya leo e, e, Kitale Press Media wamefika hapa na wamepanda zaidi ya miti 1500. Na tungali tunaendelea kupanda hata mimi nimejiunga katika kupanda hiyo miti. Nataka kuongezea tu hii ni muti wa Sisijam ambao kwa ki, lugha ya kawaida ni zabarau e, na kwenye habari zingine ni kwamba kampuni inayotoa mikopo kwa ununuzi wa nyumba nchini inayojumuisha benki, mashirika ya uwekezaji pamoja na serikali imezinduliwa hii leo na rais Uhuru Kenyatta. I believe would protect homeowners from the risk of interest rate volatility hence allowing them to be in control of their monthly commitments 
and afford their homes. The Kenya Mortgage Refinance Company will also benefit the financial, financial institutions by providing a liquidity backstop and facilitate a much greater level of maturity transformation. Indeed, the scheme will enable financial institutions to better leverage their deposit base for on lending as mortgage loans. In order for this solution to be successful, primary mortgage lenders need to position themselves to provide more access to affordable mortgage finance. Wakulima katika kaunti ya Mranga wamefaidika kutokana na mradi wa upanzi wa miche ya parachichi almarufu kama avocado zaidi ya wakulima 1100 watapokea miche huu watapokea miche huku kila mkulima akipewa miche tano. Uh, na kwetu ni sehemu ya kiangage pale naitwa sweet water na hapo ndio niko na shamba. Na kwa hii mise ya uh, um, avocado nimelima kwa miaka mine sasa na niko na mise kama ishirini hivi sasa natarajia kuwa na, mi, na misi mia moja kwa sababu file nilisikia na, na minaona file wale watu wako nayo wana fata faida kubwa diyo, na, ni, niko na kiu sana ya kupanda hata leo na, nafikiria nita, nitashukua kama misi ni mimi diyo, waziri wa kaunte ya muranga wa kilimo na mifugo na mambo ya samaki ufugaji wa samaki Uh, siku ya leo tuko hapa Ihura Stadium kuzidua uh, mpango ama mradi wa kupanda miche ya parachichi yani avocados hapa kaunti ya Muranga uh, tumetayarisha miche 1500 na tumeandikisha wakulima 1120 ambao siku ya leo ndio tunazidulia huo mpango na kama mnavyojua kaunti ya Muranga ndio inaongoza kwa Uh, utoaji ama production ya parachichi hapa nchini Kenya tunatoa asilimia sabini ya parachichi zote ambazo zinatumwa nchi za ngambo na zile zinaliwa hapa nchini na sana sana sisi uh, parachichi yenye tuko nayo ni ya ile ya export high quality inaitwa has ambayo mnajua ya kwamba inakuwa na uh, wakati inaiva inakuwa purple in color kwa sababu ya shelf life yake Uh, hiyo parachichi ikishaiva inaweza kaa hata mwezi mmoja bila kuwekwa kwa fridge ikiwa kwa room temperature bila kuharibika na ndio sababu hiyo ndio tuna promote hapa na ile miche tumetayarisha already wakulima wa wanagoja kule mashinani saa hii tume, tumepokea mvua ya kutosha na kwa hivyo ndio wakati mwafaka ambao wakulima wanafaa sasa kupanda ile miti ya parachichi tunahimiza kwanza wakulima watayarisha mashamba na wameshatayarisha mashimo matano matano kwa sababu kila mkulima atapata miti mitano mitano na kwa hivyo e, tuko tayari na wakulima wako tayari wametayarisha mashamba hafla hii ya leo inazinduliwa na mgeni wa heshima ambaye ni na wetu mwangu wa iria na yuko tayari hata ako jiani anakuja na tukitoka kwenye kaunti ya Muranga ni kwamba wahudumu wa afya katika kaunti ya Kirinyaga wametishia kugoma kufuatia mazingira duni ya kufanyia kazi wakiongozwa na muungano wakiongozwa na muungano kutetea masuala ya madaktari KMPDU wametoa ilani ya siku saba ya siku saba kabla ya kuanza mgomo wao The governor has done absolutely nothing in addressing the uh, the gaps that were noticed in staffing in addressing the training gaps in addressing the promotion gaps and the motivation the lack of motivation that was seen in the hospital the governor has also not mentioned in her recommendation what she plans to do with infection control because till to date Kirenyaga county does not have any trained casuals the laborers that are there are untrained We are giving Kirinyaga County a strike notice of seven days. We've been writing thousand letters to them with no reply. They have them at their tip. So we want, by the time we finish, and we are ready to engage them within the seven days before we embark on official closing of the facility because we are closing from the gate to the last department. So before we do that, we are, we are ready to engage them but we are telling them until they fulfill all the laid down uh, demands
we are not ready to go back to work. We are going to refuse to work in deplorable conditions that are putting our health at risk. Currently, we have nurses who are having hepatitis infections. As you know, hepatitis is a liver infection that does not clear away anytime soon. We have other issues like diarrhea. And I was asking myself one day, what if a patient just across the county, the country comes to somewhere like Kiruwea District Hospital, rather Kiruwea Referral County Hospital, and an Ebola case comes, how many of our health workers are going to be at risk? How many of them will die? Mahakma na wanasheria wanaitaka serikali kuangazia sheria ya wahalifu na kondoa makosa madogo madogo kwenye kesi za jinai. Akizumumuza kwenye warusha ya kuzindua mbinu za kuimarisha mfumo wa sheria za jinai. Hakimu mkuu Roslyn Oganjo wamependekeza kuwa wahalifu wa kesi ndogo ndogo watoze tufaini. Uh, decriminalizing and reclassif uh, reclassifying such offenses. And also like was said by the speakers before, diversion uh, programs are necessary. When we deliberate on decriminalization and reclassification of petty offenses, it touches on us directly. And I think uh, unlike prison, that also suffer the consequence of us congesting their prisons with petty offenders, but we also uh, suffer working relations between us and members of the general public. When we have prisoners who have committed petty offenses like nuisance, prostitution, among others, and they are mixed with the other prisoners who have committed felonies. So you find that if a prisoner committed maybe stealing, when he's released prison to, from prison, he goes and commits robbery with violence. So mixing them together also has, has an impact in their life. Tukiangazia habari za michezo ni kwamba timu ya volleyball ya kinadada Malikia Strikers imefuzu kwenye michezo ya bara Afrika baada ya kuwashinda wenyeji Uganda seti zote tatu. Mechi hiyo ilichezwa kwenye unga wa MTN Lugogo mjini Kampala. Na mpenzi mtazamaji kwa habari hiyo kutoka mjini Kampala. Sina budi ila kutamatisha habari zetu za Pendo TV kwa sasa. Lakini itakapofika saa tatu utangana naye Dickson Andati ili aweze kufahamisha mengi ambayo yatakuwa yamejiri. Anamsiki jina langu ndio msikitaji.